Um, anybody who's watching my channel from the beginning, they would see that I tried this uh, P90X, which didn't work too good. Um, ironically, <laughs> I, I am on a welfare system, and the universe that judges me says I'm lazy and stupid. And, um, frankly, the only reason I'm on this welfare system is because I'm not lazy and not stupid. <laughs> um, I followed society and all of the rules. You know, I overworked myself and said that, you know, if these are the rules to society, I'm going to make it work. I'm going to be smart enough to make it work. And, um, lo and behold, found out that it's like putting round peg in square hole. It's impossible. Smart enough to know better. But, um, I was smart enough uh, to be the best at, at a system that was completely friggin' insane. Anyways, when I crashed and burned, and uh, I had fibromyalgia. Uh, there is some physical problems that I'm dealing with that, you know, a whole friggin' planet's going to be dealing with the same health issues as I did, basically. And um, as our planet is friggin' killing itself, we're going to have fight flight. This chaos, this doom and gloom will have you running. And um, on a quantum level, this is something that I have with everybody saying that you're a, a higher vibration. Higher almost seems like faster. A faster vibration is where we're going to. And it's like, no, I kind of want the low vibration. Low calming, low is loving. That that seems to be the biggest contradiction on the planet. But, you know, everybody sort of got a death wish. Everybody wants to be saved as they're doing everything that kills them. Everybody wants to get awakened as they just are awake to a pile of problems and not awake to any solutions. Um, you want to raise your vibration, which is like, speed it up so friggin' fast that you're, you know, we're all ready. That's what anger is. Anger is a very fast vibration. Um, anger makes you want to do something. And anger will lead you down the wrong path all the time. So... Again, I will go totally against all of humanity and say, I'm aiming for that low vibration. Because the lower vibration is slower, it's much calmer. And when you're calmer, you end up getting better answers. Anyways, um, when I crashed and burned, um, I was speedy. Um, every cell in my body was saying, there's a lot of shit wrong. Nobody could understand me because I was vibrating at such a high vibration. Yeah, a lot of answers did come to me. Um, so maybe there is some sense to getting into that high vibration. <laughs> but you have to really calm down. Um... I, I'm putting a lot of faith that a lot of people are going to go into that high vibration, you know, reach that point of, oh, I'm going to die, and then realize, oh, I need to go for that low vibration. The low vibration is where you want to go to. Anyway, in this high vibration, and I knew I needed to relax, I needed to calm down my muscles, and um, so I, I went to take this yoga class. This was years ago when I first crashed and burned. 
and every one of my muscles, I mean, this voice inside my head while I'm in this class was saying, get the hell out. <laughs> run. Run as fast as you can. <coughs> it was the weirdest thing. And at that point, um, I was going with the flow. I ain't fighting nothing. You know, I'm just, whatever my intuition tells me is what I'm going to do. Because I had not listened to my intuition. I was listening to society. But this time around, it was like, I'm going with the flow. Bruce Lee says best. Don't fight the energy. Go with the energy and you'll be your strongest. It's knowing how to master that energy flow. So, like an idiot at the time, I fought it. <laughs> Stayed in that yoga class. Had to leave 15 minutes earlier than the class did. I just couldn't, couldn't wait till the end. But it was sort of my awakening to see... I still wasn't listening to my inner voice. And it's, it won't make any sense to anybody else. They'll say, well, you should have pushed yourself through that and stayed in that yoga. And it's like, no, I wasn't ready for yoga. <laughs> um, I needed to calm down in a lot of other different ways first. And that's where a lot of other people, you have some really bad shit in your life. And... Uh, you need to calm a lot of that down in in order to get from you know step to go from A you need to go B C D you need the those stages to get to where it is you need to be a year ago I started this I knew I needed to work out but this drive this um passion to do whatever it is that I need to do. You can't fight that. Do what you're passionate about. If it means you need to talk about the doom and gloom, then you need to talk about the doom and gloom. If you need to talk about death, then you need to be talking about death. It's just sort of reflect. Sort of look at yourself in the mirror and say, is this really what I want? Is this really my intuition? Am I guided down somebody else's thoughts or is this my own thoughts? What is it you want for you? That is the box you need to break out of. Because um, the world would have told me, do yoga. You know, the world would have told me, this is what you got to do. Every, every, as soon as somebody else gives you advice, that's when you know you ain't listening to yourself. Um, you got to be listening to your inner voice. That's... That's the only thing I can possibly tell everybody. Don't listen to me. Listen to your inner voice. And uh, really know when you're calm, that when you're calm and listening to your inner voice, when you're loving and peaceful, listening to that inner voice, it's always going to be right. But you got to know how to be calm and loving. Because when you start this shit, you ain't very loving and you ain't very calm. You're kind of hating your world. Um, so it, it's like you're going to get yourself to the first stage of where you need to go. And then there's going to be the second stage and the third stage. And it's like, don't even question it. Just follow yourself down your own freaking path. The only thing is, is if you want to live, your path is about living. Um, so anyways, I, I wanted to, because now I'm starting to do this yoga. And I still, yesterday I wanted to do yoga and couldn't do it. Um, just, there were forces that just didn't make me do it, even though it's in my head. So I'm visualizing myself do it. And uh, so today I ended up starting to do some yoga. And I kind of tell you, it, it really, really felt amazing. There was no voices that said, run away, stop doing it. Um, it was about 10 minutes. And, uh, like, in my head, I want to be doing it 24 hours. I'm a workaholic. I am far from lazy. And if I, I want to get in perfect shape by summer. So I'll work my friggin' ass off because that's what I do. And so, I, and that's my biggest enemy. I know the voice in my head says, don't ever do that again. Do things slow. Do things one step at a time. 
So anyways, I'm working on this yoga, and it's 10 minutes, and it's like, poof, it was 30 seconds, and it was over, which that has never happened. Um, and the yoga, I mean, some of the poses, like just the arms, I feel like it's going to go numb. There is, so clearly, there is something so powerful about yoga that it can literally make it, it's got to be these, these stretches, these, you know, the muscle holds your frame together. If your, your posture isn't straight, it's because of your muscle. And do you know to be depressed, you're always usually down, you know, hunched over, that that has the frequency, the energy of being depressed, no answers, I know shit, you're dumb, you're sad, you're in deep depression. To be really positive and confident and happy, the structure of the body is straight and up and smiling, you know, and all of that is muscle. Your bones can't hold straight unless the muscles hold it together. Even these joints here have been totally disintegrated. Um, and the process that I had to do was calm my muscles down, and uh, which is the fibromyalgia, which is really, really painful. So I've calmed them down quite a bit where there's no pain. And the healing has healed reversed the you know, like my my elbows this joint and my wrist were degenerating now that's all healed um but i need to get the frame and and like to really really heal all of those joints to get perfect healing in in all of these joints i need to rebuild the muscle again and the problem is is most exercises are repetitive and it's the repetitive that I can't do. Like your your health or poor health will guide you down the perfect path for you. So I can't do anything that's repetitive, but I still need to build these muscles in some way, shape, or form so that the the joints will be perfectly healed. Not to say I'll ever be able to do the wrong thing again. <laughs> So, but anyways, um, this yoga thing is like getting the muscles back into alignment. Um, you'll probably notice that my posture is going to change quite a bit. And yesterday I did stretch. I did do these posture um, exercises. And today, you know, just like you're doing a workout, hurts like hell. No pain, no gain. Um, but... That's one thing I just, I guess, I wanted to share is that when I wasn't ready for yoga, what, three years ago, the voices in my head were saying, run away, run out as fast as possible. And it was the right thing for me to do because I wasn't ready for yoga at that time. Um, I needed to go for walks in nature. I needed, I, I sat in, like, past the day with candles and had a sign that says just breathe. It was the breathing that I needed to, to work on more. Um, I needed to develop some understanding, get rid of some old beliefs and form new beliefs before I ever was ready for yoga. <laughs> and um, probably in the enjoyment of yoga is I needed to develop that will to live as long as I was smoking. That smoking was telling me, you still want to die. And uh, you need to work through that process of, okay, what is it that, because it ain't a depression. Yeah, um, and because I was really, really positive all the time. I'm the most positive person on this friggin' planet. Um, it was I needed to, to find some logic to this human experience because we all freaking are dying. It's out of my control, um, but it's not really out of my control. It just feels like it's out of my control, like everybody else. 
Um, feels like government's out of your control. Feels like these wars. I mean, if someone's going to bomb your house, kind of feels like it's out of your control. New thing. It ain't so much out of your control. It's in the mind. Wild, wild, wild. But I'm ready for yoga. Feels like great shit. Going for the living shit. Peace out.